Hello friends, in this lecture we are going to learn about authentication. So you must all be knowing a little bit about authentication which means that I am authenticating that I am the same person, the desired person who you want to talk to. So let's see in our example how we authenticate on the internet. So here is a very common example of Alice. So these two are secret lovers and this is Bob. They want to talk to each other on the internet. Okay. And there is a bad guy called Trudy. Okay. So they want that their communication should not be known to anyone else. And he also wants that, okay, I should know that I'm talking to Alice and not anyone else. So he wants to authenticate. So first protocol is very simple. So Alice just declares that I'm Alice over a channel. Okay, so we are, let's say, chatting and the person says that I'm Alice. What can be the failure scenario? Okay, the failure scenario can be that a person, a bad guy, which is man in the middle, he can also say that I'm Alice. Okay, and he can talk to this person, faking himself to be himself or herself to be Alice okay and then he or she can reveal all the secrets so in a network Bob cannot see Alice so Trudy simply declares herself to be Alice okay so she declares Trudy declares that she is Alice and if this is such a simple authentication then Bob will reveal all the secrets so that's not very secure next thing so we are talking on a computer so now I say that, okay, no one will be knowing my IP address. Okay. So Alice IP address, she says that, okay, only my IP address, I will have that IP address in my packet. And she is now very confident that our protocol is very secure. So Alice says I'm Alice in an IP packet containing her source IP address. She thinks now she has won the world and no one can now break this authentication protocol app 2.0 but here still there is a failure scenario and what is that that ip spoofing you have heard a lot so anyone can send a packet with a fake ip address okay so alice ip address can be written by a packet from trudy's computer also and so alice address is spoofed and then protocol authentication protocol 2.0 is also not good enough then what happens another try so she says now that she will also write her password and now she's very sure that no one knows our secret password which we had told each other on the cafe coffee day okay so we had a coffee and we told that okay this is our secret password and when I send you some message, only when you have that secret password, okay, then you know that, okay, this is me, okay. So your secret password was very difficult, AI hash 0B question mark, okay, something like this, which is very hard to remember. Now they know that, okay, Trudy cannot do anything. And so Alice IP address along with the password and she says, I'm Alice, hello and alice ip address so he replies that okay now i'm sure is there any problem with this so trudy the women in the middle there is another problem that is known as replay attack okay and this can happen even if you have some secret encryption also okay so still what happens now she learns this packet okay she has stores one packet here she knows that okay first part is ip address then this is the secret password she replays it just play back this and trudy records alice packet and later plays it to bob okay i'm alice so she just records this packet later she wants to talk to bob and she just replays this first packet and bob is now sure that okay this is my alice and he starts revealing all the secrets and all you know okay so this is also not very secure okay so now I've also got a phone call okay message some secure message 
so let's try to see next one what can happen so now she thinks that okay let's encrypt that then trudy will never be able to read that particular message and now so if the message was abc123 the most primitive password that we have and this was now encrypted to be hash zero this exclamation percentage whatever very some hard okay thing okay and then they say that now this is encrypted and we are secure that okay you have encrypted 128 bits encryption and so on now i'm very confident so trudy but this is just a replay attack okay encrypted password alice sent bob decrypted it still he finds okay so she just got this packet replayed it recorded it and played it again and bob thought that okay i can decrypt it it's the same password as alice has told me in the restaurant okay so this is very fine and i'm sure this is alice and trudy can get again all the secrets out from bob so what to do now now they go to a scientist computer scientist and they ask that what will be a solution for this problem and he tells that okay have a nonce okay that is once in a lifetime password okay so what happens here now they have a secret key okay symmetric key which both of them know alice and bob so to prove alice live bob sends Alice a nonce R and Alice must return R. So now they want that okay, it should happen live. So what she does, I'm Alice, she says. Okay, Alice says that she is Alice. Bob says, no, no, no. First, I'm sending you a number, okay, this number, and you encrypt it. Okay, you encrypt it now this number was just sent now and if this is recorded it has no use because he will have a timeout kind of thing that okay i had sent r at three o'clock i should get the encrypted nonce r number just in two seconds or something like that so she sends it alice is live he knows and only alice knows key to encrypt okay so he can now decrypt it with kab so this is K B R and I again apply K A B. So this becomes R. Okay, and if this is so, it is fine. So now he knows that okay, this is encrypted. This works fine. Is there any drawback with this one? Any failure scenario? Then one thing with secret the uh, symmetric key is it's very costly. Okay, so they say that okay, let's try out with public key system where you have a private key denoted by k minus so k minus is the private key for alice and uh, which is known only to her and k a plus is the private key that is known to alice okay that is known only to alice and not to other this is known to all the other people the private key is not known to anyone else except alice and public key is known to all okay so what happens now so i'm alice bob sends okay please verify this with nonce r she encrypts it with her private key now what happens bob says okay send me your public key because only now if k minus k minus r this is an encrypted message with the private key of alice she also sends k a plus now this will become r and this means both were the private and public key of alice only and only alice could have the private key that encrypted r okay because r was the public key could only have been with Alice okay so is there any drawback in this case and there is a big drawback a security hole where Trudy comes and this is called the man in the middle attack okay with the nonce also so she says I'm Alice and Trudy gets that message she intercepts it and she says 
she sends this same message to Bob. And now Bob says, okay, you are Alice. Then he sends a uh, number R. What happens? Trudy sends the same number to Alice. And then what will Alice do? She sends it to with the encryption of with private key of Alice. Okay. And at the same time, R. So what Trudy does is send the encrypted R with the Trudy's private key. Now, Bob asks him the public key, thinking that it will be from Alice, but he intercepts it and sends the private key, the public key to him. Now he sees here that okay, K minus T are the and then he applies K plus T. So it becomes R and he thinks that Alice is live. But it's actually it was Trudy who encrypted this message with her private key and then sent her public key to Bob to verify that she is Alice. And here what she does, she sends R to Alice. R sends Trudy with the encrypted R with her private key. He asks her to send her public key. She sends her public key. Now what happens that Bob sends her some secret message. Okay. And he what he does now he is encrypting it with the public key of Trudy and he thinks that okay it's secure because it can only be decrypted with the private key of Alice but it's Trudy who decrypts it by applying KT minus the private key his her private key and now he, she sends the encrypted message K plus AM with the public key of Alice now Alice also decrypts it and she thinks that it is fine and both the messages are going on very fast and that's why uh, Bob and Alice think that this is all that is happening and they don't know about the man in middle so this is there even with the nonce and the public private key this problem is there for authentication okay so security hall hole is there man or woman in the middle 2d poses as alice 2d poses as alice to bob okay so she becomes alice here and for alice she becomes bob difficult to detect bob receives everything that alice sends and vice versa problem is that 2d receives all the messages as well okay so this is the authentication problem and man in the middle okay so i hope you understand this thanks a lot